Hey, today we are in Volkswagen with um, Discover Media navigation system. This is a MIP2 generation. And over here I have an SD card with uh, speed cameras and uh, traffic cameras uh, navigation database. And I'm going to try to install this database into this head unit. This should work also for Discover Pro, the Skoda systems, uh, Seat Media systems and other, other um, uh, infotainment units that are based on the MIP2 generation. Okay, so right now let's place it in the SD port. Over here we can see that there's software update available and if everything goes correct, all we need to do is go into setup, manage memory and update my points of interest. Okay, as can you see, there's uh, available data on the SD card, so let's click next. And in a few seconds, everything is copied to the internal memory. And um, if you want to update those uh, points of interest, you will delete previous ones. So it's always overwritten with the new ones. Okay, update successful. Right now, let's go into setup. And map select categories for points of interest go at the bottom of the list and you have new points of interest so let's turn on few you can also go um, you can go to navigation announcements and make sure that uh, my point category is turned on over here this way um, each time when you are close to one of those points of interest, you should get a sound warning. Okay, so right now let's browse the map. Uh, this database covers most of the European countries. Unfortunately, Poland is not one of the uh, strongest, uh, strongest database, but we can go to England just to check how it looks. maybe somewhere near London. Oh, we can already see that there are some points of interest over here. And let's zoom in. As you can see, there's a lot of points of interest over here added. And as I said, uh, when approaching uh, those, uh, those um, places, you should hear an audible warning uh, from your speakers. Okay, uh, check the link in the description below if you want to download this database. Also, make sure that you are using legit databases because there are some cases in the history when somebody releases and corrupted software just to break your head unit. Uh, so you have to take your head unit into shop to remove the damage and pay for it, of course. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this tutorial and check my other videos. Subscribe for future ones. See you soon.